Now here's a video. It says too old to be hired, too young for the pension. This is a warning to people who are in retirement. Listen to me. I know what I'm talking about. I'll tell you a story. I go to McDonald's once a week to get breakfast. I went by, uh, there's a little strip shopping center right next to McDonald's. And a new uh, store opened up in this strip, little strip mall next to McDonald's. And what was it? It was like a little restaurant. Not a fancy restaurant, just, you know, regular everyday food restaurant. They opened it up within a very short walking distance of McDonald's. So once a, a week I'd go by this place. Nobody was ever there except the owner, standing there staring out the window behind the counter. And I said to myself, this place isn't going to last. You don't open up a restaurant that only serves uh, home-cooked type meals next to a McDonald's or a Burger King. You're going to fail. And sure enough, after about uh, two months, the owner abandoned it. And a sign went up in the window uh, under new management. Obviously somebody bought them out. Some other fool was going to think they're going to do better. Well, I've been going pa past this restaurant with a new fool manager, owner. They still don't have any business. So the point of this story is, do not take your savings as a retired person, because your savings now are very critical. Do not take your savings and go into a business that you practically know nothing about. Oh, say in this case, oh, I, I like to cook, so I'll open this little restaurant. Don't do it. You're going to lose all your money in uh, rents, equipment, and hiring people. Your savings are all going to be gone very, very quickly. So don't think that you're going to open up a business without a lot and a lot of research and survive. No, you're going to lose all of your savings in that business. Now what are you going to do? Now you're going to try, like every uh, uh, other retiree, you're going to have to go find a job. If you are desirous of, of having a business, being retired, you want to make some money, you're going to start a business, please, please, don't invest more than 10% of your savings in that business. Find a business that will only take about 10% of your savings. That way, if that business fails, which 99 uh, times out of 100 is going to fail, you've only lost 10% of your savings.